This is the largest mission that NASA has taken on. As it traveled farther than any craft designed to carry people, NASA's staff watched intently as volumes of data streamed back from Artemis One's uncrewed Orion capsule. Data taking, thermal analysis, vibe acoustic. Analyzing the data from the Orion seat to understand the dynamic response of having the mannequin in there. So we want to make sure the, the, the spacecraft is set up for those challenges, radiation, things like that. The Orion capsule's 26-day journey, carrying three mannequins tens of thousands of kilometers beyond the moon, tested NASA's ability to one day carry astronauts like Victor Glover in a craft where the crew won't have much independent control. The maneuvers it's going to do are so complicated. For me to have manual control throughout the entire regime of flight actually adds risk that, that we aren't necessarily trying to buy off on. We will have astronauts on board. They will monitor all their systems. They'll have 60 plus displays that show everything on the vehicle and provide telemetry and command interface to the vehicle. But automation in the background will be operating the mission in its entirety. NASA's Shanna DeLeon, a veteran of the space shuttle program, is part of the team working on new and very different technology from that used by the last astronauts to reach the moon. It's much different than the Apollo era of capsule where you have switch throws and multiple astronauts and you called the astronaut to make actions that would operate the vehicle. Artemis is automated. Um, it's a software driven vehicle. It's a data driven vehicle that will automate everything from takeoff through splashdown. NASA officials expressed confidence in Orion's overall performance, despite some minor technical glitches. Splashdown. The agency must now sort through the collected data in preparation for the next step, Artemis II, the first crewed mission that will return to orbit the moon, scheduled for 2024. All the data we get is a success, and, and that's, that's the important thing, is to go off and test that out so we can buy down that risk for Artemis II. While SpaceX is also working on a new rocket system to reach the moon to assist in NASA's long-term goals, Program Integration Manager Branielle Rodriguez says the Orion capsule is NASA's craft of choice for the foreseeable future. This isn't just this test flight. This is the start, I think, of, of a fantastic campaign that's really going to extend our exploration. While NASA knows how it will get crews back to the moon, who will go first is not yet decided, though 18 astronauts are on the short list. NASA's priority is sending the first woman and the first person of color to the moon's South Pole no earlier than 2025. Kane Fairbaugh, VOA News, Kennedy Space Center, Florida.